Hey Spooky Witches, welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a new look. I'm going to be doing this look on my cute little eyeballs today using the Lethal Berlin 89 palette. She is gorgeous, she is grungy, she is fall. I hope you guys are ready because we're going to have a lot of fun today. Alrighty friends, before we jump into the video, I'm going to quick prime with some of my Fenty Eye Primer just to give a nice consistent base underneath everything. This is pretty much my standard because I love it so much. I'm thinking I want to go for something a little bit more on the grungy side. So the first shade I'm going to hop into is Republic, which is this kind of interesting yellowy matte. It almost has like a green or olive undertone and I find it really interesting. So I am just patting this down on top of my eye primer because it's very tacky still. I'm just patting it into place where I want it and then we can blend it out later. This is a really pretty shade. I actually really like this shade. Prior to this palette, I would say my favorite yellow was the yellow from the Melt Rust palette. But this is a really interesting shade. I really like the grungy kind of green undertones to it. It really makes for a unique yellow and it really, I think, ties the theme very well. As for fallout, there is quite a bit of fallout. It doesn't personally bother me, um, but I know that that can be a bother to some. So not sure if anyone's going to be watching this to decide if they want the palette, but if you are, just know that there's quite a bit of fallout. Okay, so that is the first yellow shade. I think I want to go in with more of a crease shade now. The next shade I want to dip into is this red shade, which is called Sputnik, which I believe was the name of um, like an, not an airship, a spaceship. I think that was the name of um, a spaceship during like the space race. If I'm remembering correctly, I could totally be wrong. I could be like looking so dumb right now, but that's fine. So I'm taking this in the crease and blending it up into the yellow. I really like the grungy yellow, but I do want to use that duochrome shade and I'm not sure that with just the yellow, it would look exactly how I want it to. So we're going to add in some of this rusty red. So we've kind of created this rusty orange smoky eye moment. I'm going to take a little bit of Republic and go back up towards the brow and try and really solidify that yellow shade. I'm feeling a little bit spicy today, so I think I'm gonna do a half cut crease. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna just really deepen up the crease with a mixture of THF and East and West, which is the black shade, and I'm going to find a really detailing blending brush and just really focus that right in the crease. So very, very grungy. This I'm gonna clean up after, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, but next I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of concealer on a concealer brush and do a half cut crease. And then on top of that, I think I'm gonna do the duochrome because I really wanna try that. And I know everyone's gonna wanna try the duochrome, but <laughs> I'm going to. Before I head into the duochrome, I'm going to take my shimmer brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. It's just, again, my standard routine for shimmers. I like to make sure that I give everything the equal opportunity to amaze me. And this is a really pretty shift. Let me see if you guys can see that. It shifts from like pink to green. Really pretty. It's definitely more of a vampy look than I was intending for today. Um, I'm going to the dermatologist, so I guess I'm going to get all glammed up for the dermatologist today. But it's, I'm not mad at it. It's actually pretty cute. Now I'm going to build up some of that depth in the outer portion. So I'm hopping into that rusty red shade at first and just building up that pigment in the remaining patches. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump into THF and East and West, which are again those brown and black shades. And we are going to just kind of build up that pigment right over top the red. Very lightly, just kind of patting it in and doing a smoky eye. This black is a very rich and deep black. I really like it. I think this is the best black I've tried in a while. Lethal really knows how to do shadows, though. I love Lethal as a brand. They are definitely... One of the best brands I've tried this year and I will continue to support them. I'm just going to kind of layer some of that duochrome shade breakthrough right on top just to blend it together 
and make sure it's not a harsh transition like so. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Lethal Gel Liner in shade Decibel, which is kind of more of like a reddish brown. Um, I feel like this will be a really pretty shade. I'm gonna do just a little wing because I want more of a subtle liner before I do my lashes. And I feel like this shade will look very subtle over the shades I have down. The Lethal Gel Liners are some of the creamiest, blendiest liners ever. I highly recommend if you've not tried them and you are a fan of gel liners, they are great. I've kind of smoked my liner out a little too much on this side. So I'm gonna try and even that out, probably without success. It's gonna have to work. I am not having good luck with liner this week. If you saw my get ready with me, the Hocus Pocus one, girl, I am struggling with my liner lately. It's kind of annoying. All right, let's do some lower lash line. I'm wondering if we should do a little more color than the top because the top is pretty neutral. All of my brushes are dirty. It's very unfortunate. I'm running out of stuff I can use. Okay, using this Morphe smudger, I'm gonna start with Checkpoint, which is this purple shade. And I'm going to do this on the outer, like third to half of my lower lash line. I'm just gonna kind of smoke that out and leaving the inner portion a little bit open because I do want to try a different shade in front. Because I'm going for grungy, I'm going to smoke that down just a little bit. I'm just going to wipe that on my color switch and use the same brush. I'm going to spritz it a little bit with some Fix Plus first. And I think the next shade I want to try is Reunion, which is the shimmery yellow. And this I'm going to put on the lower lash line and the inner portion because yellow and purple are opposite colors so I feel like that would look really cute. For eyeliner in my lower waterline I'm going to use this one from Colourpop and Raw Beauty Christie. It is in the shade Woodsy and it's just a very nice brown. And I'm going to go ahead and do some lashes and probably finish up my face while I'm waiting for lashes. So I will meet you guys back in a second. Alrighty friends, this is the finished look. What do we think? I think it's actually a lot of fun. I'm not sure about the orange lip. I went in with my Jeffree Star, uh, this is pumpkin pie, which is kind of an orange lipstick. Um, but I don't know, I think it's kind of fun, kind of folly. I love the duochrome, also ignore the wings. The wings are a little bit questionable today. That is all for today's video, friends. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And also let me know what other types of videos you wanna see in the future. Should I do another look with this palette? Do you wanna see a different palette? Let me know. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all later. Bye friends.